In this question, we have an ionic compound and we're given the formula MnCl2. Our goal is to find the name of the ionic compound. So when we have transition metals involved, we have to include the Roman numeral that tells us what type of iron we have for the metal. So we're going to have to go through the steps to figure out the charges of our ions. So first let's go to our periodic table and find these elements, mag manganese and chlorine. So manganese is here, symbol Mn. Again, we can see it's in that transition metal block, so we don't know the charge just by looking at it. Our other element is chlorine. So here's chlorine, Cl. Chlorine is in group 17. So we know the charge on chlorine is going to be one minus. Okay, so we've got chlorine with a minus, and then we also have manganese, which is Mn, but we don't know the charge on that yet. So let's start to fill out in our table. So chlorine has a charge of negative one. Manganese, we don't know the charge yet. However, we are given the formula, so we know how many ions we have in our compound. We have one manganese ion, and we have two chlorine ions. Okay. So we can use this to figure out the total charge of our chlorine ions in our compound, because we know we've got two of them. So we can draw this out over here as well. We've got two chlorine ions, and they have a total charge of negative two, because two times negative one is negative two. And based on our rule, which is that in an ionic compound, the net charge must be equal to zero, we need the total charge of the manganese ions to be equal to the opposite of the total charge of the chlorine ions. So if our chlorine ions have a total charge of negative two, our manganese ions must have a total charge of positive two, so that two minus two equals zero, giving us a net charge of zero. So based on that, I know that the total charge of my manganese ions is positive two. And finally, I can use that to figure out the charge of my ion. Because I know I have only one ion, I know that the total charge is plus two. So the charge on that manganese ion must be two plus. So we have positive two for a charge on our manganese ion. So you can see here, we worked backwards from the formula to figure out what the charge of our manganese ion must be. Finally, we're ready to write out our name. So the metal comes first, that's manganese, and we don't need any special ending, it's just the name of the element. Next, we use Roman numerals to show the charge on our transition metal ion. So manganese two, because it's a plus two charge. And finally, we end the same as with our other ionic compounds with the name of our non-metal but with an ide ending instead so it's going to be chloride